This is the second part of the video series to demonstrate the use of ANSYS Forte for diesel engine closed cycle simulation. I will start setting up our test case in Forte Simulate user interface. First, I need to define the geometry of my computational domain. In this example, it is assumed that the geometry of the combustion chamber is known and the geometry file in the format of STL has been provided. So let me go to Geometry, select Import Geometry, select Surfaces from one or more STL files, and choose the STL file. The file name is ForteBowGeometry.stl. After the import, you can view the computational domain displayed in this main 3D view window. You can fit the geometry at the center of the window. You can move it, rotate it, and zoom in or zoom out. The domain surfaces have already been split into several parts that contain a piston ball, liner, head, etc. This helps us to define boundary conditions later. You can visualize or hide each part by clicking the light bulb icon. You can also view the surface mesh on each of the surfaces. Now let us look at mesh controls. In a CFD simulation, we need to use volume mesh to discretize the simulation domain. In Forte, the CFD mesh is automatically generated and updated during the simulation. We do not need pre-generate volume mesh to fill the computational domain before running the simulation. All we need is to specify meshing controls so that the meshing solver works as we expect during the simulation. The first step is to put a material point inside our simulation domain. This makes sure that the automatic mesh generation always stays within the domain boundaries. I'm going to specify the coordinates of the material point. You can see the material point by the black dot here, and it is indeed inside the boundaries. What about the mesh size? A proper mesh size is the balance between solution accuracy and turnaround time. In Forte, we specify a global mesh size as the coarsest mesh size to be used in the simulation and put in refinement controls on top of it. In this example, I am setting the global mesh size as 0.25 centimeter. You can see a visualized box around the material point representing the global mesh size. There are a number of ways for mesh refinement controls. One of them is surface depth refinement. It allows you to specify a mesh refinement at any surface defined in the geometry. In this case, I want the mesh near the cylinder head, piston, and liner walls to be refined by half relative to the global mesh size. And I want two layers of the refined cells from the boundaries. This is helpful if more accurate solutions in the boundary layer and heat transfer are needed. To briefly summarize, I have imported the geometry of simulation domain 
and set up material point and global mesh size for mesh controls. I have also introduced one type of mesh refinement control, the surface refinement depths. In the next part, I will continue introducing the other two mesh controls. This concludes the second part of the demonstration.